Hi Crazy Vapor fans, today we're going to be doing, I'll be showing you a little bit of my leather work here, and I got my trusty uh, magnifiers on, so I went out and got the uh, fine point to this, and if you can sort of focus in or not, but it's not as fine as, let's say, my uh, dye pens that have a very, very fine point to them. You just need some hair and some air. And I do apologize for my grandson in the back. He's playing video games. It's a good Saturday. Got all his homework done. Room's clean. Have at it. So anyway, I am working on the uh, Eagle down here and uh we'll uh, I'll show you what i'm doing here now i'm sorry if my phone falls here i'm gonna try to press it in the little holder then you see i've uh got more done to it and i'm just about ready to finish up the wings here so if you guys want to hang out with me just for a little bit that's fine <laughs> oh my grandson's funny okay so that's why I do like this spotlight it's just I can bend it down to where I need it and uh I don't I don't have glaring light in my eyes because I've had lucentis injections into my eyeballs and it hurts really really bad Oh, yeah, so get back at it, huh? Ain't gonna get done any other way. And uh, when you when you uh, get these going, you uh, right when you take them out of the plastic, they're all wrapped in plastic so it don't dehydrate on you. And then you have to sit here and go like that. But after that, you just uh, you see it's got a pretty good little fine point to it. See that? So, uh, and I always want to make sure I don't have a big old blob on here right when I go back to painting. Make sure I'm here in the shot. Now, this is not as fine of a point as I would like. But it's better than the wide tip. Oh, I, I don't even have the wide tip. I just have the median tip. Another deal I like about having the spotlight is you can bring it up and see if you're missing any parts of it. Because shadows do play a large roll in this another thing I have found that's uh, very beneficial to these markers especially if you're doing feather work if you notice right here see how it's kind of it does have the sheen but it's got dark spots it's got white white streaks in it so if you go along with the feathers and just streak it out like that it actually kind of gives it the uh, impression of uh, feather texture already but I will be going back over this with one of my uh, fine tipped uh, dyes probably the uh, light brown because I don't want to overbear it Yeah, why didn't no one ever go over there? My grandson. He's quite the killer. Serial killer, that is. And when I mean that, I mean... What's in the bowl? <laughs>
But he's my grandson. I love him. And if you hurt him, then we'll even find your body. Man down, man down. See how I kind of speak that a little bit? Let's see, if you want, you can go back over that and cover it just a hair. Now, I did see I did mess up that part just a little bit. Sometimes you get uh, over paint and like old uh, Bob Ross says, we don't we don't have mistakes. We just have happy accidents. I hope, I hope this is recording pretty good. Now for me, I've noticed I'm better at pushing my paint than trying to pull it because then I'll streak. And that's another deal I have. I, I try to not grip really hard because after a long day of painting, my hand would hurt. And then, so I have accidentally like under gripped oh, my I, pen I or my that. brush and across the work. So I try not to do that. Plus that, it damages your tip. <laughs> and Bobby's little laugh. Now, the one thing I don't like about this pen is when you get to like to do the super fine point of it, it just leaves that little blob right at the end. But. And you know, the old me, I'd have wanted to have this solid white. But now that I look at its feathers, a little bit of streaking is okay. I'm fine with streaking. So. Uh, let's see. Talk about more how I like this paint. It, uh, it doesn't react with the other dyes. Like I said, it doesn't bleed it. Can you see over here? It don't. You know, I can go right up to it and it won't pull the red into it. It won't reconstitute the red. Uh, and that, I like. But I always, uh, Before I do, when I do one color, I let it dry. Oh. Trust me, I learned the lesson a long time ago. Let your stuff dry really, really well. And now, honestly, for this, I'm going to be the only one wearing, using this. So when I take my wallet out to pay for stuff, people will see it. And, you know, hey, it's my wallet. Sorry, you can't hold it. And another deal I've figured out with trying to do fine de detail painting, don't have your hand up in the air. Ground yourself. Like, always go out in nature. Ground yourself. Ground yourself to the table. That way, you know, just in case something happens and you slip, it's going to be minor instead of major. Screw up. And you know what? Little screw ups I can handle. And for the price of these, I don't know how much is actually in here, 
But uh, how much paint is in here? But uh, you know it's even if you're just doing one or two projects. You know, I like I like about this is it actually dries pretty quick. So okay, it's like I gotta uh, reload here. I wish there was a way that you could refill these. If somebody has a tip that they know that they can refill these, I mean, it's gotta. Oh, the chrome tip on here. I'm sure you could pop that off and put more in, but I don't know where you would. I like this paint. I, I really, really do. I mean, I could have done some more detail to the, uh, to the leather. It's not as deep as I like, but I was having, I won't say a real bad day when I was uh, painting this, but I wasn't having the best of days. And so I did what I had to. Come right. on. Come on. Don't screw up on me now. Okay, that's uh, where I'm going to stop here for today. I'm going to let this soak in and dry and maybe do a little bit of touch up tonight on it. But uh, it's coming along pretty good. I've got to do the brown right here on the body. I'm going to do this. I'll probably do the light brown first. And that's another deal I thought of when I was doing this. I should have put my light brown and gray on here first you know just like some streaks but i didn't know how this paint was gonna work yeah. so now that i know if i ever do another style of eagle like this well i am gonna be doing the belt so i'll probably and the belt has these templates right here um these are different eagles that if you're able to fit it on there, which I don't know if I am yet, but I should be able to. Okay, these are for inch and a half belt, and I think these are two inch. Yeah, this is for the buckle. Mm-hmm. Good old Al Stoneman. Very good artist. Always, uh, real good with this stuff and explaining everything. And then, I don't know what color I'm going to do the uh, flagpole here. I don't know if you can see. There's a little flagpole here that went with it. And on the deal, of course, it had a black background to it, which I'm not doing. I may do like a white lining or a, a black liner around it, maybe. Um, all this stuff here I'm going to have to do. So I still got... Plenty of work to do to this yet. It's a work in progress. I don't know what color I'm going to do that yet. I just may do black. I just may get up the old, uh, look at that. Pick up my spectacles here. My good old black pen. And I've got plenty of dye too, but I've just noticed my dye is just too thin and it just bleeds. So, anyway, thank you all for watching and, uh, I got a 15 minute video. Alright. Uh.
post a little outro here. Want to thank you all for subscribing again. Appreciate it. Hopefully, I can get into doing a little bit of uh, of uh, leatherworking. Uh, I know that Manuel or I forget what his name is, Matt, Danny Metapola or something. I know you want a guitar strap. So I'm still looking. I'd seen it one day when I was going through looking for another uh, pattern. I see it, it's in my drawers here somewhere. I'll have to look for it. If any of you uh, want to give me some hints, ideas, or if you want something maybe done for your leather, email me at crazy vapor leather studio all lowercase letters at yahoo.com. That is my email. I don't have a website. I'm just, you know, <laughs> I don't have uh, that much work to uh, display. And yeah, I've done some fairly decent pieces for what I think I can do. I'm, but uh, definitely I've seen, uh, I've joined some uh, Facebook groups out there for leatherworking and guess what? I mean, I've, I've, I'm not a natural at all, but uh, they say I'm doing okay, which I'm glad. But anyway, I'm rambling on again, so I'm going to let you guys go on with your day. Have a good weekend.